Kenyatta in Redlands, California. Hey, Kenyatta, what's up? Hello, Mr. Hartman. How are you? I can I can hear uh, I can hear it in your voice that you're a little disappointed, uh, <laughs> and uh, and I I can I can I've talked to you enough times where I, where I I wish there was something I could say to console you, but I can't say anything to console myself other than the fact that weed is now legal in California. So at least uh, yeah, um, there was some small victories last night. <laughs> There is that. Listen, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't know if you recall this, but when Donald Trump entered this race, I spoke with you and I told you that I believed he would be the president, and I talked to you why, and uh, I want to kind of revisit that, particularly as a black man in, in this country. One of the the thing that this country was most based upon is the racial exploitation. And it is always going to be sexy because it is it has died in the wool in this country. And Donald Trump went back to the basics with his campaign, and it resonated in this country. And where I'm philosophically um, looking at this is, will Barack Obama's presidency, and I absolutely believe that Barack Obama's presidency produced Donald Trump. And when Barack Obama ran in 2008, you know, I volunteered. I did all kinds of things. To see him elected, I wasn't so enthusiastic in, uh, for his re-election. But the question becomes now, and it was, it's good that black children can see that you know a black president and so forth. But in the long run, downrange, I'm wondering very much if Barack Obama will end up being Black America's lament, because black uh, because uh, 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 Donald Trump is a direct result of the Barack Obama presidency. What say you? Um. Yeah, I mean, he used birtherism, his challenge to, to our first black president's legitimacy as president for the better part of five years of the presidency as his platform, as his principal platform into the media. And the media played along with it. Um, be, uh, I think the media shares, I mean, if you want to start assigning blame for even the rise of Donald Trump, uh, a lot of it is at the feet of our media, which takes us back to Reaganism, uh, Reagan, you know, Reagan starting the deregulation of our media, blowing up the fairness doctrine, set, you know, stopping and forcing the Sherman Antitrust Act, which logically led to the Telecommunications Act. You know, hey, if we're if we're not going to if we're going to if, if we're not going to force industries to stay small and competitive, but allow them to get big and giant and non-competitive, why should the, the the media industry be any different? And, you know, thus the Telecommunications Act of 96, which was championed by the Republicans, and but although it was signed by Bill Clinton. And uh, so, you know, I think there's plenty of blame to go around. You you, you, you uh, spoke in, uh, in your last call or a call before that, spoken about the Electoral College. You know, I, I, I absolutely agree with both you and the caller. But, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm really uh, perplexed at why there isn't more conversation and has it been more conversation about that, Tom? Because, I mean, to, to just break it down to, and very basically, you cannot have a true democracy uh, with an electoral college type of system. No, it's wow. not. It's not democratic when the majority of people vote for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump becomes president. That's not democratic. Absolutely. Small d democratic. So, Absolutely. yeah, spot on. And, 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 I mean, that's not the reason why Jimmy Carter on this program said that you know, America has become an oligarchy with unlimited political bribery. That was about Citizens United and, and the role of, of dark money. And oh, I very much remember that program. Yeah, yes. yeah. But but you know, and and let's not forget the Koch brothers put some seven hundred million dollars, or at least said that they were going to, into this election. And I think that that's where you saw so many of these Senate races. And and of course, you know, people turned out for the senators, the Republican senators, that the Koch brothers were pouring millions of dollars into their campaigns. And they voted up ticket for Donald Trump. So I, he benefited from the Coke money, even though they weren't giving him the Coke money. But, um, you know, so there, there are multiple layers of, of, you know, corruption within our system. Kenyatta, thank you for the call.